Hey everyone, welcome to the Catapult Project. This one is one of our favorites, but it can also be a little bit tricky. So it's up to you to use the famous engineering design process to come up with an awesome design. So here's a little bit of the story behind this project. The town of Sticksville is growing and is brainstorming a couple of ways to defend themselves from any potential intruders. Although this is an ancient way of doing things, one of their ideas is to put a catapult on the city borders. The purpose of these catapults is to launch projectiles as far as possible, but also as accurate as possible, just in case any threats try to come close. They have hired you to lead this project and have given you free reign to build this model catapult however you'd like using the given materials. One thing they do ask is that this catapult can launch items that are many different shapes and sizes so they can load different projectiles on there. Think you're up for the task? And why should this all matter to you? Well, let's first define what a catapult is. Its definition is a device used to throw an object over a distance. And we're not gonna give away some of the science from this project, we'll save that for the next video. But we promise some of these concepts are at play all around us. For example, did you know that aircraft carriers use catapult technology to launch their fighter jets into the air for their missions? But can you quickly pause this video and ask yourself, why do they do that in the first place? And why is that necessary? That's right, hopefully you were able to come to the conclusion that a runway on a boat isn't nearly as long as a runway on land would be. So they rely on a slingshot to get that airplane up to speed for takeoff in a short amount of distance and time. Another example where you see this stuff in the real world is what's called projectile motion. Once these items are launched off the catapult, they behave very similar to things like a baseball when it's hit off a bat, or a basketball when a player shoots a shot. Can you think of any other examples of projectile motion? Now on to just a little bit of history behind catapults. They were heavily used and invented in the Greek and Roman armies over 2,000 years ago, and they continued to use them until the invention of gunpowder, which made things a little bit easier for them. Some armies built wheels on their catapults so they could take them with them wherever they went, and some cities mounted them permanently outside their city walls so they could protect their people sort of like the one that you're theoretically building. Regardless, catapults weren't very accurate historically, so hopefully the one that you build can change that. And friends, by the time that you're all done with this project, it is our hope that you're familiar with the background of these projects, some of the science and engineering behind them. You're going to get a chance to build one for yourself, and even hear from a professional who has a unique perspective behind this activity. So thanks for your time everyone, we will see you in the next video where we're going to share some of those academic principles at play behind the catapult.